Where there is hope, there is light. Where there is hope, there is life. Where there is hope, there is love. Where there is hope, there is eternal peace. Mark Allen. I couldn't breathe out of my right nostril for about a year or so. At the time we had three dogs and Jessie was acting in a really odd way. She was sort of clinging around my legs and this had been happening for some time and behaving in a way and a closeness that she'd not previously been doing. And there's all sorts of studies that dogs can detect certain illnesses as well. When I went in to get the results from histology, I kind of worked out that it was going to be cancer. Had I gone to the doctors earlier, I'm sure that the treatment wouldn't have been as severe as it turned out to be. With a stage four cancer, which I'd allowed it to get to, one can never know. So I asked the question, what will happen if I don't have the surgery? To which his reply was that you will be dead within weeks. Our faces are like our most visible fingerprint, if you like, a massive part of our identity. And the thought of disfigurement to your face is quite daunting. Their worry was how far the tumour had gone. Um, they managed to get it out cleanly, totally removed, but they had to remove my eye socket. So my eye socket is now titanium mesh. This um, cheekbone here is now made out of my pelvic bone. They had to take out my upper jaw. They had to rebuild the roof of my mouth and the back of my throat out of tissue out of my abdomen. And then for good measure, they removed my um, lymph node and saliva glands from this side of my neck to stop the risk of cancer cells spreading. The ongoing radiotherapy afterwards was not a very nice period. I lost three and a half stone. Uh, the hair on this side of my head all started to fall out. I lost all taste, so eating was about survival. We never know when something can strike and change your life significantly. If you actually look at some of the very early plastic surgeries, it was fairly basic, you know, the, the repairs that were done, but of course they had to work with what they've got. So I would be in a very different place, and a lot of other people would be in a very different place if it wasn't for the likes of Get Ahead and other people who are prepared to support and help. Get Ahead and others who are funding the equipment are changing lives, changing lives for the better. They are assisting people's recovery time. They're minimising the impact of mental health issues. They're taking away distress, not just for the patient, but also for family and friends. Don't ignore symptoms, please. Okay. I was an idiot. Please don't be an idiot like I was. You know, if something's not right, go and seek some consultation.